I decided to do a video discussing my condition. I don't think I have a video up discussing it. I think I've just put bits and pieces in my story, but I'm actually going to turn this into either an IGTV or a reel, whatever one works, so I don't really mind. Um, so I have lipedema and lymphedema. It, it is a chronic condition that affects the lower half of my body and my arms. So what it is, is I've got little notes here just in case I needed it. Um, it's basically diseased fat in my legs. Um, or an abnormal accumulation of fat cells. Um, that's the more medical way of saying it. And these are fat cells, like fat body fat that can't be like burnt off in the traditional sense of exercising and eating well. I would know. I lost a whole heap of weight. My legs shifted a little bit because not all the fat on my legs was lipedema, but most of it is. Um, but later in the video, I'll put up like a video of a picture of me both at my biggest with my lipedema and my smallest with my lipedema. Um, I also have lymphedema, which lymph being lymphatic system just doesn't drain properly. I do have a few women that I follow on Instagram that also have it and are using their platforms that are much bigger than mine to talk about it. It is not a very well known, um, well known condition and it's generally passed off as just basic obesity. Um, I was diagnosed three years ago, I believe. Um, and I saw my specialist slash surgeon who, um, who diagnosed me, obviously, and he mentioned that I am stage four. I'll put the stages up here somewhere. Um, lipedema, which is the biggest stage that there is. So this condition is very much hormone based. So if it comes around during puberty, pregnancy, menopause, and it affects one in 10 women, being me. So I, my legs and stuff started to change when I was 13, but again, I didn't know about the condition. So I put it down to just, I was fat. That's what I said to myself. And everyone around me said the same thing. And it wasn't until I'd lost heaps of weight and I went and saw my GP and he's like, look, try these fluid tablets. And if these fluid tablets don't work, I think that you have something called lipedema. And now looking back on that conversation with my doctor, I'm really surprised that he knew about it because it's not well known by other doctors either. Um, and I took the fluid tablets, nothing happened. I, nothing changed. So that's when I had a chat to him and I went and spoke, spoke to a specialist and got diagnosed properly. Um, I, I found that, uh, pregnancy absolutely made my condition worse. I never, like I was sore before, but I never was this sore. And now the pains kind of started, um, part of the condition, that's part of the condition being in pain, bruising, the, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a fun time. Um, after having a chat to the surgeon a few years ago, back when I was smaller, so being big, I'd have to lose all the weight, like, not first, but you get what I mean. It'd be better for me to do so. Um, he said to me that I would likely need four surgeries because they don't do it all at once. They do it bit by bit by bit because it's safer that way um, and recovery is better that way. Um, so four surgeries inclusive of the ones for my arms. And each of those surgeries is $14,000. Yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, it's $14,000. Um, that includes everything, though. That includes my stay at a hospital. That includes the actual surgery, the anesthesiologist, everyone that's got to do the work on my legs. That includes my recovery, my check-ins, my garments to it after my recovery. Um, that, yeah, includes everything. It's not covered under Medicare. Because unfortunately, it's considered weight loss surgery, that it's cosmetic, even though getting the surgery could change my life and avoid me being in so much pain, it's, it's cosmetic. So, and cosmetic being uh, like if you get a nose job or a tummy tuck, that's all cosmetic surgery. This is what my condition surgery is considered. But yeah, that's the kind of money I don't really have and probably never will. So, love that for me. 
Um, there is ways to manage it, but the surgery is the only way to get rid of it. So management would be, um, there's a special compression tights that get measured out for my body and my legs that I'd have to wear every single day for the rest of my life if I don't get the surgery. I would also need to be on an inflammatory based diet, anti-inflammatory based diet. So high fats. And that's something I know my body doesn't really work awesome with is a, a diet higher in fats. Um, that's just the way it is. Like, yes, it would help manage the pain and, and etc. on my legs, but brain wise, um, my noggin doesn't work that great on a high fat diet and getting manual is it, manual lymphatic drainage done which you can get massages for that but they're not cheap and that's something you would realistically try and get done every week um yeah probably not gonna happen but yeah so <laughs> it's not all bad though um it sucks in terms of all that stuff but it really screws my mental health um because i hide my legs well i try to i can't really hide them um definitely looks worse when i'm not wearing long pants which is why even in summer you will find me wearing long pants unless i am at home um so that's fun yeah i just it makes me just feel sh like really shit about my body and it and it's not exactly my fault like even when i was at my smallest i still thought i was huge and a lot of that was even though i knew about my legs like it really screws with your head ask if you know anyone that's got it ask them how much it screws with your head i lost all that weight and i felt really good in myself sometimes but there was a lot of the times that i still felt like crap like my body wasn't good enough and I just felt uncomfortable because of my legs and knowing that if I if I was able to have the surgery I'd feel so much more comfortable in my body um, as well as I would not be in pain um, yeah it yeah I don't even know what to say at this point <laughs> I kind of lost what I was going for with this video but is what it is can't really change anything and i'm not trying to be like poor me poor me even though i have been a little bit in this video but the idea is i just really wanted to show how much it affects me mentally like physically you can see it you can absolutely see it even when i was at my smallest um but it affects me a lot mentally that i don't really talk about too much and i think i need to more um, and I think I need to talk more about the condition to help bring more awareness to it. Um, yeah. Something I forgot to include. So the tights that I need that I measured out specifically for my body are between $500 and $800. And then on top of that, I also need a surgery before that. That is, I need vein correction surgery on one of my legs because one of my veins is a pain in the butt. Um, so I'm in my spare bedroom, it's actually my child's room, and I have a mirror in here. So I thought I would show you what my legs look like currently. Um, they're a bit gross, to be quite honest. So, yeah. So this is where my body is at post-baby. I have lost six kilos as well, but my legs. So... Let's see if I can get a shot of the back as well. And then you can see it slightly in my arms as well. I generally don't wear t-shirts because of, because of it. But this is what my body looks like now. You imagine trying to go to the beach or somewhere comfortable where people just stare at you like you're some sort of freak or like you're a ma like a, like a huge massive person because you've got a condition that you can't control. Like I know regardless I'm bigger anyway, but it's embarrassing. Like I can't can't go anywhere and it makes it really hard because I feel like I'm 
I'm paranoid and I feel like people are staring at me all the time and staring at my legs and it's really just not a good time. So I will pop a picture of when I was smaller down the bottom of this screen here, I think this video. To show you the difference, yes, it does look a bit better. My condition has also gotten worse since then. Um, but yeah, it's not comfortable. I feel very self-conscious about my legs. I feel embarrassed. Um, and, you know, I'd pretty much do anything for that money to fix my legs, you know? Um, but it is what it is. And I just have to live with that and manage the way I can. And a lot of people are gonna be like, you just have to love yourself and love your body. If you were in constant pain every day, I don't think you'd love your body either. I don't hate myself, but I'm uncomfortable, as it would be because, I mean, have, did you just see my legs? But yeah. Wow, I've got my sassy pants on today. <laughs> um, and you know, the video is not exactly be like, pull me, pull me, pull me, I hate my life, blah, 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 blah. It's more so just realizing before you go and look at someone and be like, oh, I bet you they don't work out. Or oh, how could you let yourself go like that? I used to train five to six days a week. Yeah, and before I felt pregnant, I was training twice a day. I was doing a PLC class in the morning I went to work and then after work I would train in the afternoons or if I didn't train at work I would go and do another PLC class on the weekends I would too I used to train a lot and I did nothing and I ate really well I lost over 30 kilos at that stage you can't look at me and be like oh she needs to work out a little more although I have had someone say that to me that I just need to work out and eat better but it is what it is like at the end of the day don't judge someone because you don't know their story. Walking me walking down the street, I bet you if you asked anyone what their opinion was of me, I mean, they either wouldn't care, but they'd probably think that I could stand to lose a substantial amount of weight. And they wouldn't realize I actually have a condition contributing to that. So maybe don't be a judgy McJudge pants and give people the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they are working on it. I'm currently working on it even though it doesn't look like it. Just got a grumpy baby i'm gonna have to finish this up here moral story don't judge people and better things need to be covered by medicare